What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Where's that Mad Max sequel? Come on! It's been four years, right? Came out in 2014 or 15. Maybe it's been three years. That's right. I can't even remember, but uh, yeah. It's... Eh. It's puzzling. It's been puzzling because a lot of a lot of us, you know, even though you know with all the superhero stuff like that, you kind of just you almost have to remind yourself, like, wait a minute, where's the Mad Max Fury Road sequel? Given that Mad Max Fury Road did really well at the box office, blew our minds, and won Academy Awards. You think they would have been like green light right away? You know, right after, a couple weeks after, but we haven't heard jack shit, and it turns out. There's a lot of shit that's going on behind the scenes with uh, George Miller and Warner Brothers. And here we go right here. This is coming from the Sydney Morning Herald. Now, here's a list. Now, this is like court documents that Miller is claiming on Warner Brothers when they were talking about the, fear, the first uh, our Fury Road. It says right here, it says, Warner Brothers insisted certain scenes in the script not be shot, including those around a Morton Joe's Citadel, with new scenes instead and, uh, and a new ending. I don't understand. Fucking Warner Brothers, I swear to God. When Miller had a so-called rough cut of the movie, the studio made a series of decisions that caused substantial changes and delays to the production, including that the uh, previously cut scenes and new ones to be shot. New ones be shot. The studio directed... Uh, well, let's see. The studio directed there be at least 10 screenings of Fury Road and, after each one, requested further changes. How do you do that, especially with a movie like this? Warner Brothers later approved a plan to shoot additional scenes costing uh, $31 million in late 2013, which required shipping vehicles back to Australia, reassembling the main cast and crew, recreating an African set, and extra post-production. And that these costs were to be excluded from the net cost of the movie. The studio arranged for uh, Rat Pack Dune Entertainment to co-finance the movie despite being uh, contractually required to offer Kennedy Miller Mitchell the first opportunity if it was required. Jesus! And in a cross-claim, Warner Brothers alleged Fury Road significantly exceeded the approved budget with the extras... Was the extra cost largely caused by the production company without the studio's written approval? Production was delayed and cost had escalated during filming in 2012 to the point where, without the changes sought by the studio, the movie could not be completed on schedule for the approved budget. The studio requested an alternate ending rather than insisting on it. Ooh. Kennedy Miller Mitchell agreed to fund some of the additional filming in 2013. The release date was ultimately... Delayed by 14 months, and the cost of production increased by 31 million to uh, 185.1 million dollars. So pretty much, it's like one side's claiming this, the other side's claiming that. Just turns out that there, it was it was a fucking nightmare, and that's what sucks. I mean, luckily they can all look back on it and be like, "Well, we made something just truly unique, truly special, and truly just goddamn fucking mind blowing." And after reading all this, I don't expect another Mad Max. I don't, which I'm okay with. As much as I would love to see another Mad Max, probably not going to happen because of all of this happening. And just, I mean, that shoot. I mean, I heard it was grueling. Not to mention that Tom Hardy. And Charlize Theron didn't get along because I guess Tom Hardy stayed in character. She didn't like that. And she's her and he's him, you know, and it's just they, they butted heads. And this is fucking George Miller is what, 71, 72 now? You think he wants to do another grueling task like this? I mean, it sounds like he had a rough time. And, you know, Warner Brothers, I mean, of course, they're probably learning from all this bullshit now. But I just don't expect another Mad Max movie. And that's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, I, I, I will put on Fury Road, or if it's on TV, I will watch it. That movie is awesome. It is one of the best action movies ever made. And that's a fact. Well, I guess not a fact if you don't. Whatever. Truly awesome. It's truly special. It, it blew our minds. And, you know, as much as all this bullshit that's happening, I mean, George Miller and the cast and the crew can look back and be like, hey, we, we succeeded with this movie, as as much as we struggled through it and it was grueling, they still made something special that won awards, that just won the hearts of everybody. Everybody was just critically acclaimed. Directors were going, "Oh my God, George Miller just schooled us." And, you know that's fine. If that's gonna be George Miller's, you know, one of his last, there you go. That just can just secure his legacy right there as a filmmaker. Boom. He doesn't need to do another one. He doesn't. If someone takes the reins eventually, then power to him. It's just, uh, yeah, doing a post-apocalyptic movie in a desert 
like setting in a desert dystopia or whatever the hell. That's difficult, and it looked very difficult, and apparently it was. So who knows who's telling the truth here? I guess we'll find out when stuff finally settles down or they get some kind of something. Who knows? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my content, of course. And visit the store for shirts and stickers. All right, guys? Talk to you later.